just waiting for the uh, the screen to come up here. There we go. All right. Okay, so here I've got a map of Florida, and I'm going to begin by showing off the uh, some of the attributes uh, associated with this file, and it's a map of the counties in Florida. And you can see here, I've got uh, a, an attribute column, population density. And so I'm going to be creating a map theme uh, for uh, this document. And I'm going to be applying uh, a style sheet theme based on this population density attribute. And so based on these values, I can uh, create uh, a, a color scheme or a, a different uh, apply different colors to the different areas based on that attribute value. The one thing I just want to point out beforehand is that in order to use uh, your swatches or color groups uh, in map themes, they have to be in the swatches panel uh, of your current document. So Map Publisher installs uh, not only a, a handful of map swatches, but also graphic styles and symbols, and you can find them in the uh, symbols and swatch and graphic styles library. Uh, and so I got the color group that I want to use, this, this lime green one here. Uh, so I've added it to my document. So just remember that if you don't see the color group you want to use, you just have to add it to your uh, active document. Okay, so I'm going to take the map themes panel, I'm going to create a new map theme. Let's call this uh, population density. And open it up. I have to specify which layer I want to apply this theme to. So obviously, the only one in my document is Florida. I have the option to uh, create rules manually. So I can apply a single color and different styles to all artwork on the layer, or I can uh, apply it to just the artwork that satisfies a single expression. I mentioned we're going to be using the population density uh, attribute, and it, it would take quite a while to create six classes and specify values. Um, we have the batch generate rules option, which will create rules for me based on how I want to classify my data. So when I click load, let me just make the dialogue a little bit bigger here. You can see that using the equal intervals classification method, it generates these five classes uh, of uh, equal bin width. And we can see that here with our new data classification graph. So obviously, I'd have a whole bunch of uh, the counties colored the same because uh, my bins are uh, distributed evenly. So I'm going to change my classification method to quantiles. And I'm going to change it to six data classes. And when I look at my graph again, uh, just ignore the labels at the top. They're all overlapping. But you can see that it's a, a, a bit more of an even distribution. OK, so I'm going to apply a fill. And I this is where I get to apply my uh, green color group. And it's going to apply the uh, associated color for uh, the corresponding uh, rule group. OK, so I click Add, and then click Apply. And now I've got this map of Florida with different population uh, densities throughout the, the state. I could create a legend. However, that's not what I'm here to show. What I'm going to show is something that hopefully will save you time uh, if, if you you know spend a lot of time creating this map theme and you want to use it in other maps. You can use the Copy Map Objects From tool. That's up here along the toolbar. I'm going to copy just the theme over into my new document. If I open up 
my map theme that I just copied over, you can see that I don't have any layers in my new document, but I can uh, set up some auto-assigned rules that will uh, apply this style sheet uh, to data that gets imported if it satisfies certain rules. So I'm going to apply the style sheet uh, to imported data if the layer name contains the word counties. So I worked on uh, a Florida map previously. I have, let me just go to shapefile and I'm gonna import some data. So you can see here, I've got uh, each and every state, the, the counties for each and every state. So I could go ahead and apply it to, let's say California, I hit okay, and boom, my, my map theme gets applied automatically to my data just uh, at, at the snap of my fingers. So it's, it's quite easy and it should save you a lot of time uh, going forward once you have your themes all set up.